Hey, how are you? So I got a couple of, of questions about the sculpture in my last video, the, the video where I was fixing up the chairs or refinishing the chairs. And so um, I guess probably more than 20 years ago, I studied with the artist Jay Hooley, the sculptor. And I continued to make a little sculpture on my own. And, and then once, once I started to have kids, I realized that it's, it's really hard to sell sculpture and it's really hard to store sculpture and move sculpture, at least the kind of sculpture that I was making. And I had a, a bigger market for my paintings. So I basically just slowed down with the sculpture and, and continued to paint and make furniture. Uh, but most of my income comes from painting and making frames. Uh, but um, now suddenly there's, I'm, I've got an interest in my sculpture. So some of the people who have been buying my paintings over the years uh, now, are, are at least some of them are thinking about maybe buying some sculptures, some small ones. So that's why I wanted to set up the sculpture studio here. And the, what I'm doing now is, is moving that sculpture. I want to move that up to the front yard. And so this week, I'm, I think I might have it done by, by Friday. Uh, the plan is to cast a concrete base, um, maybe about uh, 10 or 12 inches off the ground, and then it'll go into the ground probably 10 inches, so it's nice and stable. And then we'll lift that sculpture up and place it on the concrete base. And the reason why I was drilling the hole, or, or I have that rod that will go into that hole, is a safety feature. feature. That way the sculpture can't tip over. And so uh, that's, that's kind of what I do with sculpture. And uh, just an interesting thing, probably the most famous American contemporary sculptor uh, is David Smith, at least found object steel sculptor. And he died, I think in 1965 maybe, or maybe he was 65 when he died. But the way he died was he used to carry scrap steel around in, a, in an old mail truck and he got in a, a very minor accident in Bennington, Vermont, and all the steel in the truck came forward and killed him, um, crushed him. And I just thought I'd, I'd uh, tell you that story because I always think of that when I'm putting heavy stuff in my truck because uh, you get in the slightest accident, that stuff just comes forward real fast. So uh, that's my little art history story and sculpture story. Um, and if you're, if you're interested in learning a little bit more about steel sculpture, I would recommend the book Picasso, I can't stand cars when they do that. Uh, I would recommend the book Picasso in the Age of Iron. It covers five different artists and it talks about kind of the beginning of steel sculpture. And it's, an, it's a good book because it talks about the personal history of each artist. And um, I thought it was, it was actually one of the most inspiring uh, books that I've ever read because my teacher, although um, I thought Jay was a good teacher, he was teaching me more about artists who are making monumental sculpture. And monumental sculpture, if you don't have a foundry and if you don't have a factory at your hands, can be overwhelming. It's, it's, um, it's impossible. It's an impossible task for one person. So uh, just to learn how to gas, wel gas weld and do a little arc welding, uh, then you could do things that were maybe similar to what Picasso and, and David Smith and artists like that were doing. So anyway, um, all right, I hope to see you on Friday, and I hope I, I get this sculpture moved. I have a neighbor who's got a, uh, a little tractor, and maybe I can get him to help me lift it up. So I'll see you then.